Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bar in bar chart or bar inside bar chart in Power BI. This bar in bar chart is present in Tableau, but we don't have it in Power BI. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create it in Power BI using some workarounds. So if you see the chart on my screen, the blue lines shows the sales of the current and these gray color bar shows the last year sales. This bar chart is generally used to compare with a benchmark of sales or a target or the previous year value with the current year value or the current sales value. So let me show you how you can build this in Power BI. So as you can see on my screen, we have this sales data here and we have this measure sales, which is just the sum of sales. And we have a date table which is connected with the sales data on date column. And here on the page, I'm using a year slicer where 2024 is selected. Let's create a column chart. So here is our column chart. So I'm going to add this product on the x-axis and the sales on the y-axis. Let me add some formatting changes in this. So I have added some formatting here. Currently, it's showing sales by product. So this bar chart is useful when you compare the sales value with a target. So in our case, the target will be last year sales. So for that, let's create a measure for last year. I have the sales measure. Let's click on new measure here. And let's say last year the sales. This will be calculate sales, same period last year and date from the date table. Close the bracket and this will give us the last year sale. So to show uh, to show the bar inside a bar. So generally, if I use this last year sales here on the y-axis, it is going to show as a clustered chart and it is going to compare in this way. But I want to create a bar inside the bar chart. So for that, what we have to do is we'll have to use the error bars. So here I am going to create a measure, a zero measure. So let's create that new zero measure. I can name this measure as zero and just it will be zero. So if I go to the error bar section in the format bin, which is in the last here. So it's showing to add uh, apply settings to sales. That is correct. In the options, we have to choose this type as by field. And we have this upper bound and lower bound. So this is basically the range of that bar. Or what is the upper limit and what is the lower limit? So for that lower limit, we have calculated the zero measure. If I put it here and for the upper bound, I want the bar to start from the zero and end till the upper limit. The upper limit I will set as the last year sales. So if I build this last year sales on the upper bound, uh, we'll have to enable this. So currently it's off. So if I click on on, you can see these values are showing the last year sales. Now let's do some formatting so that it looks like a bar. For that, we'll go down and here we have this bar section where we can do some changes. So here uh, for the bar color, I am going to choose um, anything like maybe the color is fine. And width, we can choose the width as 10, which is maximum. And if we want, we can disable the border color. So you can see this white border color around the bar. So if I make this zero, the bar will be gone. And this marker is basically the top. We have one marker, so we can turn it off. So this bar is created like this. Now there are some things to keep in mind. If I uh, talk about the tool tip here. So if I click here, you can see it's showing product sales lower and upper. We don't, so this lower that is not making any sense. We need last year sales here. So we'll have to turn off the tool tip for this error bars. We have this tool tip here for error bars. Let's turn it off. Now, if you see, it's showing product sales. We also want the last year sales value. For that, what we can do is we can drag this last year sales to this tool tip. And now we can see the last year sales as well. So this is how we can solve the tool tip issue. And data labels, uh, we should not make it as on. We should not show the data label here because it will overlap. And if like we can show, but it will not make much sense. So better to turn it off in this chart. Next comes the legend, which is the important part. So if I see this chart, how will I know which one is current year and which one is previous year? So for that, you will need a legend. But as you can see, this legend is grayed out. So there is no legend value in the uh, legend section. So we cannot show the legends for this. 
So there is a workaround for that. What we can do is let's insert some shapes. So I'm going to take this rectangle shape and let it be this much. And we are going to copy it four times. One, two, three, four. And let's bring it all here. And this one, let's bring it here. This one, let's bring it here. And this one, I can bring it. So we can show it in this way or what we can do is we can bring it down like this and we can bring it here like this. So this one, uh, let's make it text. So we'll go to shape style and turn off the fill, turn off the border and turn on the text. So in text, I can say it's current year or uh, we can say sales. We can say current year CY. So the card is, is the text is white, so make it black. Turn off the fill, turn off the border to enable the text. And let's say PY, which will indicate the previous year sales. Now I'll have to change this color as well. So for the, let's turn off the border and in the fill, uh, this is fine. For the previous year, let's choose a gray color, which is this. Uh, it's darker. So this, we can uh, make some formatting so we can pull it up like this and we can so after we are done with this uh, legend changes what we can do is we can group these so we will select all these four shapes and then we can click on ctrl g to group it so that when we move this uh, visual it will move all together what we can do is uh, also we can click on this and click on this chart and group these two as well using ctrl g so now if you want to move this chart anywhere, this legends are also going to move and it will not be misaligned. So this is how we can create the legends. So this is how we can create a bar in bar chart in Power BI using some workarounds. If you want to connect with me and book a one-to-one -one call on any Power BI issue, you can book a call on TopMate. Or if you're short on time and don't want to book a one-to-one -one video meeting, then you can opt for this priority DM where I'm going to give you the text-based answers as soon as possible. Also, if you want to buy Power BI reports along with the data set and BRD documents, currently I have these two reports in the store that is Superstore Analytics Dashboard and Pizza Sales Dashboard. So you're going to get the PBIX report along with the data set and BRD documents. All of these links are provided in the description. So see you there. These are the books that I highly recommend buying that can take your Power BI skills to the next level. These three books can cover almost all the aspects of Power BI from DAX to Power Query to the overall Power BI dashboarding. You can find the link of these books in the description. Check them out if you want to level up faster. I hope you like this video. And if you like my videos, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.